15 wicked jokes here, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> I think uh, when I saw the, the title, I was like, and nobody in all of that us. That is one of the many <laughs> wicked jokes. Yes. No wizard that there is or was. <laughs> nope, I'm not doing the Adele Dazeem thing today. It's not happening. Uh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the idea of Salem just singing that, though, just belting it. <laughs> it's just like, all right, that's that's one origin story. That's many origin stories. That what? What? <laughs> I'm super out of it. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Gonna be Look fun. at that thumbnail. Look at that thumbnail. I still can't stop laughing about. Ah, yes, my weapon's name is Due Process. I am so excited to see Ironwood fight. We have not seen him fight since Volume Three. We have not seen an Amity match since Volume Three. I and we've never seen Watts yeah, go. Yeah, we've it. never seen Watts fight. So this is gonna be so so. It would be really I can't funny wait to though. see how much of his shitbird personality comes through in his combat. Style. Wouldn't it be really funny? though if like <clears throat> Ironwood just shoots him and just Watts goes down it's like oh that's right bullets are deadly <laughs> no he has an aura he has an aura I know I know I'm just like oh wow but that would definitely be like that was a lot easier yeah. than it would be. okay then also keep in mind in the other corner we have our three on one fight yes, we against do. Tyrion yes we which do. I am predicting will very quickly become a two on one fight uh, like I said, I don't think Clover's making it out of the season. I think he's going to be fine. I don't think I he's think making he's it out of the season. Three on one and Clover's super lucky. I think he's going to be fine. Mm, but Crow's super not. Well, if he gets hurt, then Crow can just kiss it better. Other people. <laughs> yes, that's how that works. Yep. <laughs> Someone in one of our comments earlier on, uh, when we were asking for the ship name, said Lucky Catch, and I think that's my favorite. Aww, that's really like, cute. I think that's my favorite. Because that like Set ties off in, if you're that person, because I don't remember. Because that like ties into the the fisherman story yeah, with Clover yeah. and the whole. Yeah, no, I think that's I really like cute. that one a lot. It, uh, dual meaning in terms of like, oh, uh, what a catch. So cute. Like Lucky Charms like is it. fun, but I prefer Lucky Catch. Like I, I like. I that do a lot. appreciate Fair Game. A lot. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's. I I think it's good because like it it points out the balance between the two of them in terms of the good luck and the bad luck. But that's just me. Anyway, we I have a preference. should get to it. We I want to watch should. this. I have not been on social media all morning and it's killing me. <laughs> I haven't. I've been oddly unspoiled. It works. I'm good. All right. Thank you all for being good about it. Before we get started, as always, we have our sponsor, Fred's BS, Breads and Spreads by Fred, cookies, brownies, jam, pie for all you local humans. Um, yes, obtain food. It's good. It will make you happy. Don't know if this episode will make you happy. We're not there yet. <laughs> and everyone who's already seen the episode is either laughing or making dying whale noises. I, I don't know what you're doing out there in the audience, but hi! <laughs> <laughs> Your feelings are validated. Uh, yes. One way or another. <laughs> One way or another. Uh, Whether those feelings be tragedy, comedy, or full-on schadenfreude, your feelings are validated. You may as well validate your stomach, too, with some cookies. Everything is fresh, never I've frozen. Never heard Shut it. up, let me have this. <laughs> Wait, I've never heard, like, having dessert or, like, just eating in general <laughs> referred to as validate your stomach. I'm coining a phrase. No! Yes. Don't! Yes. That's nothing! Yes. <laughs> let me have that! Sure! Finish the library. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> Anyway, all the fun stuff you already know. Everything is fresh, never frozen. Everything is made in small batches. Flavors are not found in stores. And if you are local, you can do pickup instead of delivery and get your goods even sooner. Contact Fred. The the, the poof. The details. <laughs> that's the word. Are in the description below and also at the end card of this video. Tell him we sent you. Order some good things. Validate your stomach. <laughs> Don't. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Sure. Do the thing when the stuff treat yourself. It's more you like deserve validating it. your taste buds. Oh, <laughs> los dos. I'm old, but no, uh, like you don't want to eat too many sweets when you're old. Oh, your stomach about will disagree. Many. No, but no, Fred's Fred's stuff is so so good. Um, I have been meaning to get some more of his jams. It's been a while, and I'm not normally a jam person, and like. Every time we talk about it, I just think to myself about how much I appreciate that jam, even though I don't really like jams. 
It's my jam. But anyway, cookies for you, brownies for me, jam for your jam buds. And jam for her, because it's your jam. Apparently. <laughs> I like his brownies better, but those are two different foods. Uh, you put the brown you put the jam on the brownies. And, and then a you put brownie sandwich. And then you put another brownie on top of that. And then you and put you another layer. Face. Then you put another layer of jam and then you put a cookie on that. And then you put another layer. Okay, at this point we're hitting like nailed it levels of edible sculpture. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do this. Volume, volume seven? Are we in volume seven? Yes. What day is it? <laughs> volume seven, Volume seven, 11. chapter eleven. Gravity. Click. I am defying gravity. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wait, come here. See, she's doing the nice little stare at us thing, but she's also sitting in front of our space heater. <laughs> because... That's where she lives when it's winter, in front of our tiny little space heater, where she's like, yes, this is, she's bigger than the space heater. She's like, this she is winter yes. size. And I'm like, damn it. You know what? I was standing in front of it earlier, so I don't blame her. Honestly, we need to get a bigger one because this little guy was meant to go under my desk at work. So it's not meant for it's not an apartment. <laughs> It's trying its best. It's doing okay. It's over there going. Ah. <sighs> Maria, I miss where? Maria. Come what the back. fuck is she? She's hanging out with Pietro. Okay, but I miss her. She's been so great these past couple volumes. It's like. Uh, was she only just introduced last volume? Yeah. My God, it feels like we've had her forever. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that came before didn't matter. <laughs> yes, we need more Maria. Oh, we need more of the Grim Reaper in our lives. And yes, this is gonna be the fight. This is gonna be the fight. Yep. I have many concerns. I have so many concerns about all of this. I'm here for it. <clears throat> well, yes, but also I'm concerned. I'm not. I am just here to watch this spectacle. Yes. It's Tetris murder time. Nice lava physics, though. Listen to that music. Are we doing 10 bases? Nice. <laughs> cool. Are you counting? Yeah, yeah, he is. Are you keeping track of the number of bullets you have? I think he knows how many bullets Ironwood has. Yeah. Oh. I've played this level in Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> oh my god! It is the crazy gadget level! You're such a broken son of a bitch, I swear. Oh no. Is that Caleb Hiles? Maybe. He is counting. He's waiting for a reload. That's Caleb Hiles! He and Casey Williams did a mash or er, did a collaboration a little while ago. That's awesome. Oh my god, just put cuffs on him and call it a day. Ooh. Bad plan. This is so cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I was expecting the fire to hit him. Yes. There was supposed to be an earth shattering <laughs> kaboom! <laughs> That's bad. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Hit him Superman, again! Superman. Oh my oh. gosh, this is like Inception. This is madness. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Yes! Oh, that there, is the aura there break it is, right there. there. It is. And Ironwoods isn't broken yet. But I've lost. He's counts. also mostly made of metal. This is true. Was that? I was gonna say his aura didn't break right there, did it? I don't think so. 
I saw a blue flash. Is this it? We're just doing fisticuffs now? I gave you everything you could want. You chose that fat imbecile over me. You didn't love me, James. Just like mother. No. Oh. I suppose in this instance, my brains and your brawn are evenly matched. You're smart, but you're not the only one who can count. One plus two yeah. plus one plus one. Oh, I know. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. That was a little too close for my liking, James. Is that one of his... Is still human bits? Is going to be such a pain. I think so. Now, if you'll excuse me. This is a saw trap. Ah! I mean, unless you're hoping to add more metal to that body of yours. Oof. Holy shit! Oh, don't drop him. You can't double tap that. <laughs> if you drop him in lava, you won't need to. This is a good point. I will sacrifice whatever it takes to stop her. <laughs> oh, I hope you do, James. I hope you do. Drop him! Callos, <laughs> you're under arrest. Drop him and make him hot. <laughs> Crow, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> yeah! Some days you just gotta punch a man. Like a lot. <laughs> Are going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take the tail off caught, again, you guys. I caught a big one. <laughs> Take the tail off again. Oh. oh! Kill him! I think that was a hit, but not a break. That might have been a break. I needed those ribs. Oh, he's not okay. I was gonna say, yeah, his aura didn't absorb the blow. There it is. There it is. That's the break. I don't trust that. Don't. No. Don't. Nope. Do it again. Smile now. I don't trust that. Seriously. This is Clover. Requesting prisoner transport. Please, for the love of God, tie him up. We have Tyrion Callos in custody. Oh. I need to see you tie a motherfucker up. What? What was that look? Who's in there? I wonder if maybe he just realized, oh no, winter, like the winter maiden. Oh. She? Yes, sir. Was anyone caught trying to enter the school grounds while I was away? No. Are you sure? Still afraid, I see. Now show me where you've been hiding her. Mmm. Yeah, I think that okay. might just be the Ironwood realization, not that there was someone in there. Affirmative. I don't understand. Why would the general call us back without giving a reason? Because the winter evacuation is still going on in Mantle. You don't have to understand orders, kids. You just have to follow them. City transports won't be stopping anytime soon. 
The general said he needs us now. He needs us now. You all get to the general and find out what's happening. We'll bring Oscar and see you soon. Oscar, maybe? <laughs> general Ironwood? Oh. We have made a critical error. Oh. Was the symbol Salem showed us before we lost everything. Her way of telling us she was inside. That it was too late. We stopped Watts. We stopped Callows, but someone was here. They put this in my office to tell me that. What if Mantle was just a distraction? What if it was oh, just to draw us from the academy to, to. Sir, it's going to be okay. We've got Mantle on our side now, and. How do we know that wasn't part of their plan? How do we know they didn't oh, want us no. to bring people into Atlas by the thousands? In trying to save everyone, we've left ourselves most vulnerable. Salem has been one step ahead of us this entire time. Everyone comes up to Atlas and then they the drop city goes it. Down. It's glass. Black glass. Cinder. This was Cinder. She's alive? And she's here? If Cinder's here, then for all we know, Hazel's here too. Sir, this isn't over yet. We're with you. Are you with me? They don't Sir. know that Cinder's not really working with Salem right now. How did Robin know about the Global Communications Project? We told her. The night of the ambush. You did what? We were trying to help. By going behind our backs? Wait. Does that mean you let her escape? Robin is on our side. She always has been. We didn't know that for What's sure. In What's in there? Of this matters. Is there an apathy in there? Always matters. Oh! Whoa. Oh, Christ. Woo. The brave huntsman and huntresses bested Arthur Watts. Congratulations. We stopped Tyrion too. And we'll stop Cinder and anyone else you try to send here. Dear girl, their goal was never victory. It was merely to set the stage. For what? For me. The flying monkeys. Time isn't on your side, James. It's always been on mine. The mm. people of Atlas have suffered enough. Surrender the staff and the lamp to me. And they needn't suffer any further. I'll just kill them all. That's not going to happen. Simply accept the futility of your situation. And this can all be over. Oh, <laughs> We've seen what you're capable of. The lamp showed us. Hey, remember that time you murdered your children? <laughs> it showed us everything. We've seen that you can't be killed. But we've also seen you fail. Over and over. We don't over. have to kill you to stop you. Yeah. And we will stop you. <laughs> Your mother said those words to me. <laughs> My that was a full on horror movie flash. Oh, Christ. She Is this the first time we've seen her fully modeled? Oh! What is happening?
What did she just do? That was like a silver eye short circuit. Salem? That's who we're up against? And she's apparently on her way. But we'd be alerted if any forces had approached the kingdom. We have long range proximity alarms all along the coast and. They're offline. With all of the chaos we didn't notice, Watts must have shut them down. Or they've already been destroyed. Oof. that Amity Tower was ready to launch. Was that true? No. 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 You just said that to lure out Watts. General Ironwood? I kind of thought that you guys knew that. I've sent your sister to claim the power of the Winter Maiden. I sent your sister to come in and murder. We've been compromised. I knew we couldn't wait any longer. The staff and the lab have to be locked away. The focus on the gun right now. God. I thought you said we could keep it. Well, that was before you lied to me about the lamp. Before you lied to us about Robin. Before Salem was right on our doorstep. Before Mantle was nearly destroyed. And myself and my army were left exhausted. The timeline has changed, and so we must change accordingly. What are our orders, sir? We are going to take our plan for Amity Tower and apply it to the city of Atlas. What? It was Oz's plan in a former life, but he didn't take it far enough. If we harness the power of the staff and raise ourselves high into the atmosphere, the city's artificial climate will keep citizens and food supplies unharmed. Always out of reach of whatever Salem may try to send our way. This is bad. But we're nowhere near finished evacuating everyone. You'd be leaving Mantle to die. Yes, I would. Oh, no. We can't allow Salem to capture the relics. This is our best chance at getting the staff, the lamp, and the maiden as far away from her as possible. But... We have an opportunity to reunite the world. If we launch the tower, we can all work together again. We can even call for help. If we can hold out long enough. Sometimes doing the right thing means making tough decisions. You're right. And I think the right thing to do would be to stand our ground. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yep, this is where the disconnect comes in. Ragged, tried to save Mantle tonight. We try that again against an even larger force. But your huntsmen and huntresses! You can't just back down from a fight! You can't focus on one single fight while trying to win a war. What's the council going to say? Nothing. Once I declare martial law. No! Oh, what about oh. Robin? Who exactly are you loyal to? We're loyal to the people counting on us to save them! We are saving who we can. Catchphrase! And you're standing in our way. This is not good. This was not the fight I was expecting. It's Sean. We've got a serious problem. I am once declaring martial law and abandoning Mantle! Sam is coming and he's going to use the staff to move Atlas! And if we don't stop him, Mantle's going to be just... Uh oh. What? No. I'm sorry it's come to this. Oh, but until Atlas and the relics are safe, you are all under arrest. We won't just let you take us. Oh no! Oh, my heart. He's walking away like, I'm not going to have an office after this. <laughs> Ruby, are you there? Ruby! Did you tell them? Oscar, where are you? 
Oh, shoot. Oh, that's bad. Neo's probably got him. <sighs> Everything is bad right now! Yay! It's almost like we're two episodes away from the end of the season. It's just like Beacon again! <laughs> Oh man! Whoa. What a wonderful bait and switch, though. Like in terms of um, it's oh look, the battle's mapped out. Yeah, that's really cool. What a wonderful bait and switch, though, because our focus, just like everybody else's, was on Tyrion and, and Watts. Watts. And who I assume actually did get dropped into that lava pit. Yeah, even I, that we haven't seen him. I, I think he's dead. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I appreciate that uh, Salem can show up through her tentacle madness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. Oh, man. Ugh. Your mother said those exact words to me. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, this is it, all terrible. It looks like she was able to, like, disable Ruby's silver eyes. Or just that was so much emotional turmoil that they kind of went off anyway. I don't... I don't know. They were flickering like a, a short circuiting electronic. I think Time to that go was back her. and talk to Maria. Like, hey, what the fuck? What was that? <laughs> oh man. So maybe, maybe Woo! Salem, maybe Silver Eyes isn't what we necessarily. You know, obviously they have an effect on the Grim, but like maybe they just can't do anything to Salem. <laughs> oof. <laughs> Big oof. But yeah, I, I love this because it's, it's excellent payoff for all the setup they've been doing with Ironwood and with the Aesop's all volume while still coming up as a surprise because Tyrion and Watts were, we were able to dispatch them. Yeah, so like, like, boy, that was easy. We were expecting them to zig and then they zagged Yay! real hard. But, you know, we've been calling it for a while. Like, at one point, are we going to wind up against the Ace Ops because of we follow orders and we're not friends? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I... It breaks my heart that Ironwood is going to these extreme measures, but at the same time, you completely understand like where that thought process is coming oh, yeah. from. And I mean, he started this season paranoid, exhausted, and running scared, and this just ramped it up to 11. Yeah, no, and- I like to think this wouldn't have happened if he hadn't brought uh, Watts' bag with him, if it had been accidentally kicked into lava. Well, Salem's like, shit. I, I'm wondering too, like, that might have been part of what caused this ex escalation was the negative feelings the that grim. by the Grim, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not straight up apathy level, but like, we are like, oh, this start, is a problem. You start hearing that audio distortion, you're like, okay, there's something something, something in the bag. And with all those careful camera framing, too, of uh, yeah. showing just the bag taking up the majority of the frame as Ironwood's in the background, and consequences for telling Robin something. Like, mm -hmm. it worked out in the short term because of the, the council meeting stuff. Um, and her ultimately siding with them on that, but like, he didn't forget about it. No. <laughs> and it, in the long run, it's like, ooh, this whole trust thing. And yet, if, if they had come clean to him completely at the beginning of the volume, would things have gone this south? Because like, if they had been completely honest with him from the get-go, would he think, okay, I can't trust these guys? I don't know. Yeah. Things, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you made a decision and there are consequences for that. And you look back and you're like, could it have been differently? And who knows, it might have gone differently or it might have turned out exactly the same or it might have gone worse. Like he might have, he might have been at a low point already there and telling him then might have just, just like, whoosh. Yeah. Maybe he would have just declared martial law a lot earlier. He just wouldn't be arresting them. And again, they'd just come off of Lionheart, who yeah. was supposed to be their friend and ally, completely throwing them under the bus. And it's like, well, he's supposed to be our friend and ally too, but you can't ever oh, no. really be sure. This is, this is good storytelling oh, because yeah. it's none of these, none of these people are bad people. 
Like they're all trying to do the right thing. It's Sales just every, bad person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I just I'm gonna qualify all, that one. They all have different ideas of <laughs> what the right thing is and how to go about doing it. And so like and that puts them at odds and that this is good storytelling. I'm still just Winter has gone to claim the Winter Maiden's power, and I'm like, you just ordered her to do a murder. That's an option. I mean, wow. the dude did just, like, remove a, a few layers he, of he, skin He did just flay himself oh. to get out of a trap. <laughs> and I love Watts oh. just being like, oh, he's totally not going to do that, he would. Uh, like, mmm, buddy. It is... Equal parts badass and cool, but like also shows just like how on on the edge he is. And this is the episode where he finally went over that edge. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, so, I'm so um, equal parts heartbroken and delighted. If that makes any sweet, <laughs> I've introduced these council members, but they don't matter anymore. Well, matter when the I council doesn't person. get a decision. It's fine. <laughs> charge now because <laughs> yeah this is just bad yeah i know and like it's harsh <laughs> but it's not necessarily wrong of like you can't leave those people there to die and he's like we're saving who we can it's two different ways of looking at yeah. the exact same scenario yeah Ugh. and it's just resource management and small picture versus big picture as much as i hate to say it like this one battle versus the war and it's like, okay, this is, uh, I don't like this decision because you have oh, no, no, this no. is untested and you're just yeeting an entire city into the sky while knowing that there is someone on the inside here. Like, honestly, it would be smarter to put it on the ground. So there's and no, I threw it on the ground, <laughs> but you're, it you're would be equally smarter to put they it on the ground. Put the staff in Amity and yeet Amity into the atmosphere. They don't know about the um, flying monkeys. The flying monkeys, though. Oh. Uh, although there are flying grim, but I imagine they don't in imagine an entire army of flying monkeys but, I mean, heading their way. There's also danger on the ground, and that is like the issue. But yeah. if the whole ass city falls, that's everyone. You can at least set up strongholds. Dropping one section of the city onto another section of the city. <laughs> it's the Final Fantasy VII problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it's all bad. I, I don't. I, I was hoping that this volume would end on a triumphant note, like I don't the, think the previous will. volume is. But yeah, I, I feel like with all the volumes, like Beacon, I feel like with all the volume three parallels, we could end on another low point. Um, which here's the thing. We weren't invested in Lionheart as a person. No, no, no. I no. feel like we could do a triumph at Haven. That was no, that wasn't Haven. That was that was Haven. That was Haven. What's the one that we haven't hit yet? Um, uh, the one in Vacua. Thank you. Like I feel like we could Shade do that. Academy. Thank you. Where Team Coffee's at? If you've read the young adult, if you've read After the Fall. Thank you. I read After the Fall. Ooh, like I said, I'm not here today. <laughs> it's a thing. But I feel like we could have that triumph there, partially because we haven't been invested in the Headmaster as long. There's not really anyone there oh, no, that we know. We've known, know, like, we've known Ironwood since Volume 3. So, so this hurts more. Yeah. And we can't have tragedy and failure all the time, because at that point it turns into The Walking Dead, and, you know, it's misery oh, porn. No, Ain't no. none of us here for that shit. No, and... And I stopped I, watching The Walking Dead in season five. I'm <laughs> really hoping that this end, you know, that we end on another triumphant note. But like, who oh boy, it, again, it would not surprise me if we didn't go that direction. But yeah, no, I feel like Pure it might history. take, I feel like it might take a lot, but like, I do feel like potentially we can reason with Ironwood and, or overpower him. Cause like, Tyrion didn't get killed. tried to reason with a career military person who thinks they're doing the right thing? You're right. That was a dumb thing to say. <laughs> Just generally speaking. <laughs> but like, again, to be fair, he's not heartless. Maybe this is me hey. just wanting, this is me just wanting to believe the best in him. I, I think maybe the way we, again, we resolve the, this I is will... incapacitating him, not killing him. Well, let's try. <laughs> Woof. Again, we have the I will sacrifice whatever it takes and Watts' final words being I really hope you do. Yeah. Just like, oh, 
That's and then bad. drop <laughs> into the lava you go. We're not gonna drop the mic, we're just gonna drop Watts like, mm, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, and now yeah. he's dead. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. I'm I'm still kind of in no body, no death, but the heavy implication oh, here no. is that he got super lavaed. He dead. <laughs> he dead. Long live the king! He is an ex-scientist. <laughs> Happy birthday to the ground! <laughs> he has shuffled off this mortal coil, he is singing with the choir's eternal. I really need to learn that entire monologue because I, I only say, no, know he's like not. two He's definitely in remnant hell. <laughs> Whatever the, the hell equivalent is in the world of Remnant. <laughs> He's not singing with any choirs. <laughs> um, in uh, Remnant Hell, the choirs are all seriously off key. Oh, so it's, it's and singing musical Justin hell, Bieber. Then. <laughs> it's musical hell. Go check out Musical Hell. Somewhere YouTube Diva channel. is like, yeah. Go check out Musical Hell's YouTube channel. Uh, it's, it's exceedingly It's a very good time. But no, yeah. This <laughs> was. Great. And I can't ah. wait to see how the stuff with the Winter Maiden plays out. Because Winter's a good person, too. Like, I don't know if she has it in her to just straight up murder somebody who's innocent. And, again, we, yeah. we brought this up on the, uh, on our podcast for this, but if things go south and Cinder follows her in, I would not be surprised to see Freya take matters into her own hands. Oh yeah, could you imagine her just sitting there in her hospital bed and being like, what are you ladies doing? Whoosh, whoosh, and just like picking up Cinder from across the room and like throwing her out the that window. That is not what I meant and I think you know that. And I, no, I know. I know you meant like actually like murdering yourself, but I really love the idea of like her just sitting down and using her maiden powers to just kick the shit out of Cinder from her bed. Oh, I just want you to stay over there, like a lot. <laughs> just, <laughs> just stay. like a bunch of icicles around her bed, and she just goes like, Foop. <laughs> "I want Cinder. to build a snowman." <laughs> and Cinder just gets pelted with them, and she's just like, "Oh, you kids, you kids, and your noise! Ugh, I'm just sitting here trying to do my paintings, and you come blustering in here with your..." All this nonsense about mantle and flying monkeys. I'm just trying to finish my painting. <laughs> Leave me be. <laughs> like, that's gonna be a thing that happens. Those <laughs> fucking flying monkeys. Uh, <laughs> I, I really want this maiden fight now. I'm just like, her just throwing I'm just furniture. free going, now we're done. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, furniture and lightning and just all this other, and ice and just straight up like Elsa powers like throwing Cinder across the way like I love the idea of Cinder completely underestimating her abilities and her just being like no nope, you go into another block of ice again <laughs> how long do you think I've had to perfect these powers dearie oh quite a while <laughs> and unlike you I train with them <laughs> you trained with uh, Salem for like a little bit, but then you've just kind of been wandering around doing your own thing. <laughs> uh, this, that, this oh is great. my god, you know it's not going to be played for comedy. No, you know that shit's going to go down of and it's going to be bad. And it's going to be not a mad surprise if we ended on a cliffhanger. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Uh, it's going to be a mad sprint from now until the end of the volume. But like, I mean, I feel like the mad sprint started last episode. Yeah. Um, we're continuing the med sprint, yeah. but no, just in my heart of hearts, I want to just put it out into the universe, if we could get a maiden fight where Freya doesn't even stand up, <laughs> I would kind of adore that. <laughs> oh, you kids. <laughs> oh, you young whippersnappers. And somewhere out in the void, a monkey's paw curls in the finger. <laughs> right you put it out there and, and it will manifest <laughs> you put it out there and the universe goes hmm all right guys How i'm putting it out there on this? another maiden fight and freya kicks the crap out of cinder without lifting a finger i'm putting it out there how great would that be i seriously doubt that's what's gonna happen but it's I like definitely that. not <laughs> but i love it keep it down <laughs> you kids and your maiden fights, and your end of the world, and your levitating staffs, and... <laughs>
Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Is that about that it? That was your cue, yes. Is that it? Yes. All right. Well, I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Ooh. Twitter and Instagram at the Manguin. That's T-G-M-E-N-G-U-I-N. Uh, I also do a podcast called No. It's a Lost retrospective podcast called No Love Lost, where my co-host Will Link loves Lost, and I don't. We talk about it, and we also do a YouTube channel called Silver Screens, where we talk about horror things on occasion. Just go check that out. Yeah. And I'm Katie. You can follow me all over the social medias as well as on Twitch at Kiaxe. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. I'm trying to revive that Twitch channel now that I'm hopefully going to have a little more free time. So mobile games played well and Overwatch played poorly. I'm in low bronze. It's a good time. Uh, if you want to hear us discuss this episode with slightly more sanity and potentially more ridiculous jokes along with our wonderful teammates, uh, find the Rooster Team. <coughs> Rooster Team Radio on all of your various podcasting sites. Um, yeah, it's available on pretty much all of them at this point, Yee. isn't it? Yee. Most of them. Your podcast app of choice. Yes. We have a very good time, so listen to that. Um, if you enjoy this channel, if you like this channel, if you want to keep us going, we have a Patreon, which gets you Rooster Teeth, Rooster Teeth episodes of stuff early. Uh, we have a Kofi, which... You, if you just want to throw a couple bucks our way, whatever, if you want to send some treats to the cat who is now missing. She was up at the top of the stairs a little bit. Yeah, earlier. she's probably in a box. <laughs> in a small yeah, myriad probably. of boxes. If you'd like to get the cat another box, <laughs> we have the Kofi for that. Uh, we do commissions, not requests, commissions. And, of course, supporting our sponsor supports us. So buy things from Fred. Put them in your mouth. Life is good. <laughs> that is not a good way to put that. No, it's not. I hated that. <laughs> he sells food. Validate oh your stomach. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oof. That was more painful than Obviously, I my brain's not working today. It's a good old time. Oh anyway, God. all of that information is in the description below. Uh, yeah, keep us from getting eaten by the YouTube algorithm, which may or may not be carried around in Watts' bag, by hitting all these nice little buttons, you know, like, subscribe, ding. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! That was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, just like... Ooh. That moment where his arm gets caught, you know, he's thinking, God damn, why couldn't it have been the other one? Like, ah, <laughs> shit. Uh...